Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. In this tech video, I'm just going to be showing you how to install a custom ROM, in this case Synergy Mod 10.1, uh, on your Android device. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do or have or be is rooted, uh, have a custom recovery installed, and have super user access. So once you have those three things, you should be good to go to install this ROM if you're on a Nexus S GSM or Nexus S 4G. Those links for this ROM will be down below, as well as the G apps for 4.2.1 and 4.2.2. Uh, it's important that you install the correct ROM, otherwise you can run into some issues. So the first thing you're going to want to do is visit those links down below, uh, either from your computer and drag them over via USB to your uh, phone, or download them straight to your phone. Now, if you're running a different device uh, than the Nexus S, what you can do is just go to get.cm from your browser, uh, either from your phone or your computer, and scroll down till you see your device and uh, download the proper CM uh, version for your device. If your device isn't supported by Signage Mod, you can always just Google uh, a ROM for your device or look up on XDA, uh, things like that. Without further rambling, what you're gonna wanna do is open up, uh, I'm using ROM Manager. You can open up ROM Manager. Hit reboot into recovery, and it'll take you back into recovery. Okay, so uh, since I'm using uh, Clockwork Mod, this is how my uh, UI looks. What you're gonna wanna do is wipe data factory reset, scroll down and hit yes. And then you're gonna see it says wipe cache partition. Uh, pay attention to this as well as the next step because it's kind of important for the uh, final step. You're gonna hit yes, wipe the cache partition. Now when that's done, go to Advanced and wipe the Dalvik cache. And when that's done, you're going to hit Install Zip from SD Card, choose Zip, and like I said, if you downloaded it straight to your uh, Android device, it's going to be in the Download section. If you dragged it over, uh, just placed it in the root of the SD Card or in No Folders, it'll be all the way down here at the bottom. So go to Download, and there it is. The Signage mod version that's down in the description for the Nexus S and Nexus S 4G is that right there. And then you just go ahead and click on it and it'll install. Then you're gonna to wanna to hit reboot system now and it's gonna reboot. Okay, so after you install the custom ROM, if this is your first custom ROM, uh, you might not be familiar. It may take you just to the home screen and you will not have a setup screen. That's because you need to install the G apps. Now the G app, the G apps, um, if you're running a ROM that has 4. that is 4.2.1 based or 4.2.2, you can visit the link down in the description to get those G apps. And the way you install those is you remember when I said pay attention to this and the next part? Uh, that's because that's what you're going to need to do to install the G apps. What you're going to do is go into recovery mode again to get your G apps. Uh, after you've hit the link down in the description, reboot into recovery. Then where it says wipe Dalvik cache, you're going to wipe Dalvik cache and wipe the cache partition. You're going to wipe both of those and then go ahead and go back to install zip from SD card and find where you ever you put those uh, G apps and install those. Then you'll have, uh, you should have the Play Store and you should have that setup process. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so that was how to install a custom ROM, in this case, Signage Mod 10.1 uh, based on Android 4.2.2. Uh, if you're not sure how to find that, just go into settings about phone and you should see right under model number, Android version 4.2.2, right there. Thanks for watching. I'll have a somewhat overview of Signage Mod 10.1 since it's been a while since I did one of those. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did or if it helped, don't forget to give a like. Subscribe down there. I'll be having more coverage on this as well as uh, some other videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.